of Texas Football Talk. I'm your host, Jeremy Lockby. Once again, joined by my brother Clint in this episode of Commitment Corner, talking Connor Robertson, offensive lineman, also Westlake High School. How you doing, brother? Hey, pretty good, man. Exciting, exciting, exciting. Let's get the big boys in there. Uh, Connor Robertson, 6'4", 295 pounds out of Westlake High School in Austin, Texas. Uh, currently ranked around about that 87 mark on the composite from 247. Currently 546 nationally. Uh, number twenty, uh, number twenty. When you're talking about inside off, uh, inside offensive lineman, and number seventy-seven in the state of Texas, thirty-one total offers, man. Thirty-one total offers. That's a lot of offers. Committed to University of Texas over Stanford. Um, biggest thing for me is not watching one of these offensive linemen leave the state of Texas to go be a cardinal there at Stanford. Um, that's big time. So I think at this particular point we might have broke the Stanford curse, um, which is which is big time because we we've lost a lot of talent to that school out there. Uh, again, I haven't listed as an interior alignment, uh, but plays right tackle at Westlake. So again, I think it's one of those guys that, and you'll probably get into it when you're talking about film study, that that has an opportunity to play in multiple positions, multiple positions across the line. So with saying that, I'll let you go ahead and get into the film study there on Connor Robertson. Yeah, it just reminds me of the model that Kyle Flood wants to bring. Devin Campbell, six foot four, six foot five, three hundred and ten pounds. Kelvin Bates, six foot four. Six foot five, 310, 320 pounds. Cole Hudson, six foot five, 295 pounds to 305. Connor Robertson, six foot four, 295 pounds. I'm saying that to say the model is versatility. I think, like you just said, this kid plays right tackle at Westlake. He has great feet and pass blocking situations, moves well in space. Just a lot of great attributes does Connor Robertson bring to the table. But yeah, his film study, again, he moves well in space able to get to that second level. Again, sheds, sheds that initial defensive lineman against the second level. Understands line schemes and trap blocking. What you'll find with the group that I've been watching that Kyle Flood likes to, to bring is that ability to trap block, that ability to, to, to get outside on pool and get to that second level on a linebacker or safety. Uh, stays on his blocks, uh, makes contact with the defender, stays on his blocks, he's a good finisher. Doesn't let guys get off of him. Uh, Great feeding pass protection. So Westlake has a pretty diverse offense. They, they equally run pass. So this kid, unlike most offensive linemen who are generally skilled if they run the spread at pass blocking, don't have a real run game. And then you got other offenses that run the football primarily and don't have really good pass blocking skills. This kid has it all. Like I said, I think he can play tackle at, at the University of Texas. Currently he's playing tackle at Westlake, but most recruiting services have him playing on the interior. Again, I think it's another guy that you can plug and play uh, as he grows and, and you need you need help, he'll be able to be versatile and get in plant, get pl get planted somewhere on the line that would help your team. Uh, he has a great body, six foot four, two hundred ninety five pounds. Probably could add an additional twenty five to thirty five pounds of muscle. And again, he's one of those guys that hustles. Like I said, he'll knock one guy to the ground, look for the next guy to to, to block downfield. Uh, Connor Robinson's a smart kid. You know, Austin Westlake, like you said, proven winner comes from a proven program. Uh, so you're getting a good guy, a good kid in Connor Robertson to come to the University of Texas. Yeah, yeah. And again, just kind of piggybacking off what you're talking about as far as Austin Westlake goes and, and Chaparral's there, man. Um, you're talking about uh, a team that's, you know, won two consecutive um, uh, state championships at the highest level in, in, in Texas high school football. It's big time, man. And I, I think, I think uh, the further along it goes into the season, I, I think Spotlight's going to be on um, Austin Westlake. I think he has an opportunity to move up recruiting boards because of that. Uh, they, they play some serious competition. It's, it's not like they're 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 playing at you know at the, at the smaller levels here at the you know at Texas. Uh, they're playing uh, big boy football here in Texas. I think he has an opportunity to to kind of uh, be able to show uh, his skills moving forward. Um, with you talking about that too, you know, you're talking about Austin Westlake. Um, you know, they come obviously a perennial program that has a, a hell of an offensive. Uh, mind there, um, you're talking about having an opportunity to really pass block and, and run block and be able to do both of a combination of both at this at this early of an age, man, which is which is big because usually either you're run run heavy team or you're a pass heavy team in, in, in high school. Um, so be able to have a combination to be able to run and pass block is, is definitely important. Uh, really, really, really excited about Connor Robertson um, right there. Get him out of your backyard. Could, didn't let him leave the, uh, the city of Austin. Yeah. So I, and I and I think he's already got a good relationship with Malik Murphy. Um, Malik Murphy came down for the Texas spring game this spring, uh, who hosted him, but Connor Robertson. So I think he already has a relationship with, with Malik and, and, and Malik has a relationship with not only him, but the, the kids on that Westlake football team. Uh, cause he stayed with them when he, when he visited for the spring game. So relationship yeah, I, I, for, 
Yeah, I forgot about that. That's that's who was with him when 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 we obviously approached Malik uh, Malik at the um, spring game. Um, he was there with Connor Robertson and a couple of other guys from the Austin Westlake team. So, and we picked up some what preferred walk-ons as well from that same from that same Westlake team as well. Um, so, I think I think it, to be able to keep your guys in the city and in the state is definitely important. If you can get them from from right down the street, so they just pack their bags and and head across campus, uh, is, is absolutely important. So, you know, hopefully you like this uh, this podcast. Uh, we appreciate you listening as always. Um, if you liked it, hit that like button. If you have not subscribed, please hit that scrub, subscribe button. Um, you can find us on Twitter at TX Football Talk, on Facebook at Text Football Talk, and on Instagram at Text Football Talk. We appreciate you listening as always, and hook them. Hook them.